Hello, everyone, and welcome. Uh, I'm Dr. Shannon Mitchell. I'm Associate Dean for Undergraduate Studies here in the School of Business in Sneed Hall. Uh, I'm glad that you're watching this video today. What it means is that when you come to campus for orientation, you won't have to sit through a similar presentation at that time and you'll be able to go immediately to work one-on-one -on -one with an advisor to plan your classes for fall. When you first come to Sneed Hall, you will go into the auditorium with everyone else. But um, after a very brief introduction, we will put your name on the screen as someone who has already taken their quiz and um, you'll be led out to work one-on-one -on -one with the advisors. So let's get started. This is our academic overview. I'm telling you about the curriculum, which will help you plan where you are in our curriculum and what you need to take this fall. I'm going to start with the Business Advanced Program. The Advanced Program uh, consists of courses that you take in your junior and senior years. It's your business major courses along with your advanced core business requirements. Now, the advanced core courses are common to all of our business majors. So uh, even if you are a marketing major, you will be taking finance, you will be taking management, and the same is true for all of our other disciplines. You can see then that any business degree at VCU will give you a broad background in business. Now, you'll be wanting to choose a major potentially when you come to campus, so I want to talk just a little bit about what we have on offer here at VCU. We've got all of the standard business disciplines. We've got accounting, management, finance. Um, we've got economics and marketing and information systems. We've got some special ones. Under business administration and management, which we commonly just shorten to call management, We've got a general track, we've got a track in international management, and we have a track in entrepreneurship and small business management. If you think you're going to be interested in international business, then you'll probably be interested in the international management track. If you think you want to start your own business or you have a family business that you're going to be a part of, then I would take a look at the entrepreneurship and small business management track. Within finance, we have two special tracks, one in risk and insurance and one in financial planning. The one in risk and insurance will help prepare you to work in an insurance company. The financial planning track will help you plan to, um, to counsel individual households about planning for the future. Some other programs of interest, we've got the human resource management major. That is a program that's not offered everywhere, and I like to think of that as a program that has something to offer everyone. If you are a numbers person, then you probably would get in interested in compensation and benefits. If you are more of a people person, then you probably want to be involved more directly with recruiting. Another special program we have is real estate. This is a unique program in the state of Virginia. It is not necessarily preparing you to be a real estate agent. This instead is preparing you to work in the real estate industry. So real estate development is squarely within this. Um, to some extent, urban planning is very closely related to this. Um, and even real estate finance you would think of as being quite closely related to this. So there are a lot of interesting career options for real estate. Economics, I'll mention, um, being it, it's pretty close to my heart because I'm also an economics professor. Uh, with, with economics, um, sometimes people are a little afraid about economics because they realize that when they first graduate, they're not going to get a position as an economist. But what you do see is that people with economics degrees move up rapidly in their organizations. And uh, if you think back on it, you'll realize that a number of American presidents had economics degrees. 
Now, I want you to think about information systems as well. Information systems combines computers with business. So if you're attracted te to technology, but maybe you don't want to be limited to just programming all the time, if you are very interested in business and you like trying to figure out how the systems within business come together, then information systems is where you want to be looking. Another interesting major is marketing, and I think of that as another example of a major where we um, find career options for lots of different personalities. So if you are a people person, you're probably more interested in sales and advertising. And if you're more of a technical person, you're probably more interested in data research, which is um, a very rapidly growing field in marketing. Now I want to take a moment to talk about one of our premier programs, the Financial Technology Program. Um, this program is a smaller program aimed at people who are interested in math, finance, computer science, and statistics. Now, obviously this is not a program for everyone, but there are a lot of wonderful opportunities after you graduate in these fields. Our two tracks are actuarial science and financial engineering. The actuarial science track prepares you to be an actuary and begin taking your actuarial exams. The financial engineering track prepares you to work more in designing financial instruments. Um, if you have a keen interest in this, you want to think hard about it. Uh, before you arrive on campus, you can read up a little bit about it on our website. And then when you come for advising, make sure you mention that to your advisor.